Hey guys, what's up? So today I have a tutorial for you to be a little bit different. So today I'm actually going to teach you how to make a front combo. In my personal opinion, this is probably one of my favorite styles of viewing, the style's favorite types of tricks, because it's just really fun to do. It's super easy and it, in contests it's really good because it, it gives you a lot of good variation. Let's get on with it. So I honestly think a lot of beginners have a lot of trouble with this front combo. Because first of all, easily beginners tend not to just tend to just straight go to boing boing and then just stop there. If I'm correct, yeah, I used to do that too. Hmm. Alright, so this is how it works usually. What I did with my first front combo, the only front combo I've ever made, is just kind of just go into like stuff like I already know that I already know how to do. Like barrel rolls. Oh my god, I keep doing my front combo. Is that barrel rolls? And then combining it with another trick, like Mach 5 or something like that. You don't have to actually do that. Just, you just go like this and then go back to normal. And you can do more things that way. Also, when you notice when you're doing a front combo, you're gonna get wraps on your finger. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that right now, but, but I'm just letting you know. And yes, this is a replay. If you can ask in the comments. <laughs> so. You just kind of do stuff like rolls like that. That's really what a speak up front combo is. It's just a bunch of rolls. You can want to, you can do like either hops or normal either hops. So yeah. So like this, I'm gonna try to help you create one. So it's a little, make it a little, a little easier for you. What I mean is by like when you're doing like rolls, make the rolls different. Don't just do the same rolls. Don't just go like. This, I'm mostly my combo. And like this, and then just stop like that. Don't do that, because it's like the same element and you just do click one. So when you're doing a roll, like, okay, this is how I made my front combo. So I'm going to show you mine. So with my front combo, I just did a barrel roll at first. Okay, I'm like, I don't want to do the same thing twice. That's what I told myself. And then I, I could just go into a mod 5, see, the mod 5 thing. It's a similar element, but it's different. And you see, I can dismount from there after I get into the to the mod five. I can go like this, and if you don't know how to, do, I can just do spins. And if you don't know how to do the spins, I'll teach you right now because there's no tutorials so on this for God's sake. You just literally go in your left fingers and spin it around like that forwards. That's literally what the spin is. <laughs> and it's probably the most basic front combo thing. But that's usually how front combos work. So you're just like that. And three. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. So if you don't understand what I mean, is like just do like okay, see like that. There are different elements like that. Because then you spin three times. That's how I made mine. I wanted to make that element a thing. I got, I did learn that from Jake. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jake, by the way. And like that, and just do, maybe you do like a boingy boing. Or something that can go like, three rolls, boingy boing, if I want to. Like just go into a boingy boing, and then just go into like, something else. Or, yeah, like that. Okay, but, let me get back to my front combo. So, like that, and then you can spin it around, you see, like the Mach 5. And then just go back into the front, and look, I'm back into a normal mount, so I can just start with something else. Like that, like that, okay? I can do a boingy boing, kind of like a boingy boing, just pop to the side, like that, and spin it around three times. And then this sets you up for anything else, like see you're back in the same mount, so with more twist. This will essentially make the rest of the tricks you do pretty easy. And a lot of combo, a lot of uh, front style combos usually have this element. It looks like this. Like that. This is a very, very easy element. If you do not know how to do this, it's pretty simple. You're just going like this. And you're just going to go into the string, put your finger out, and then go right there. And then you can go back. That's what I do. This is what my combo is. My combo, after I do the. Let's see. Three rolls, I just go like this, and I go back into the same. Okay, so when you're in here, it's a lot, it, it, I would recommend using this trick right here. See, all you have, this is basically what a front combo is, rolls. 
They're just rolls of tricks. You can spin it around and then just do stuff like that. And then boingy boing a little bit. And you can do like a roll like that. Like simple stuff. Just do simple tricks in the front combo that you know. Combine tricks you know. So just go like this. You can go like you can go like this. You can do your front combo. You can go roll. Go backwards roll. So you can do a seasick if you know how to do that. And then go into a boingy boing. And then you can go into like and do like a chopstick thing if you're really good with chopsticks. So this is what I just mean. Different elements. And then just do elements you already know. Like in the front ways. And just combine them together. And if you don't know very many elements, I recommend learning to. Like very simple ones. Just like. Because you don't have to make your front combo hard. But if you want to be unique, that's fine. But. This is basically, this story is usually just for people that are just starting to make a front combo and just want to really get good at it. Like, this is my front combo, see if I can do it. And if I don't, I'm just going to rub on about how I can't do it. <laughs> but how to do a front combo, I should say. This is mine. I just go like this, and then I go to one, and I just bind from there. Yeah, so. Most of the time, people usually end off in a trapeze, or they end off in this mount right here, a backwards trapeze. And you can do rolls, do that thing. That can be your end, or you can go like this. If you know how to do that, I'm so bad at these. Just, uh, yeah, basic stuff. Just add basic front style elements, and if you're good enough, you should add, like, really difficult elements. It depends on your skill level, and then depending on how hard you want your front combo. Yeah. Overall though, I believe that front combo is probably one of the most fun styles because you can do it as fast as you can. Look at what, I can go like this and just bind. Or I can go like just do my front combo. Smile, because this is fun. Front combos are supposed to be fun, they're not supposed to be stressful. Just go like that and then go into an arm bind. Yeah, I can do that and just be really cool about it. So yeah, so just like, do that, make you, okay, recap. Saying it again, I'm sorry. But just, just keep going, make the, use simple elements like boingy boing, seasick, barrel rolls, mod five, uh, roll, I, I don't know what this is called, we go like this. I don't know what that's called, I don't think that's even a tricky name. As a name like that, you can use rolls, stuff, split the atom, I think that's what that's called, that part right there, and then yeah, so just stuff like that, and usually a front combo usually flows together, don't have to be like super unique about a front combo, because if you ever see professionals, sometimes their front combo isn't that unique, and honestly unique front combos, are usually really hard to come by. I think the only few unique front combos I've seen is like just Gabriel Soleil's and that's really about it because his is really difficult and he still has the elements, some of the elements I'm talking about. Like this word element right here. This is probably one of my favorite elements but I don't agree that you like this. Oh shoot. Huh. Okay. So back to what I was talking about. Just do elements you like to do. Do simple elements you like to do. And usually, a front combo kind of flows by itself. Just gotta combine the tricks and then get it down smooth. Hopefully, get ready for your next contest, whenever that is. And enjoy the front combo that you just created. And just have the most fun. Every time I do a front combo, I think of happiness. That's really the one thing I think about. Like, I really love my front combo. Not just because it's fun, it's just not because it's cool looking. I honestly don't think it's that cool looking. It's just because it's fun. That's what a front cop is for. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. And yeah, comment down below what you want to see in the next video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.